Hi, Liz. I was, uh, wondering if you'd like to go downtown to a science demonstration with me. For the umpteenth time, little man, you're just not my type. Not when dream boats like Flash Thompson are around. Get lost, bookworm! Whoa! <laughs> See you around, Peter. And now to demonstrate how we control radioactive rays here in the laboratory. Wow, Professor Stillwell. Can you actually harness radioactivity for genetic experiments with this device? Of course. Nobody had invited or even noticed a tiny eight-legged visitor. Ow! Ouch! It, it was just a spider. Glowing that way. Is it radioactive? Uh, excuse me, I, I, I feel strange. I, I, I need some air. I ran out as fast as I could. <laughs> Things happened to me. I have changed. But how? Why? Before I could figure it out, a kind of sixth sense warned me of danger. I didn't notice a car coming right at me. I moved. Boy, did I move. What's come over me? Am I going mad? I, I'm scaling this wall just as easily as I can walk. The spider bit me. It must have transferred its powers to me. It was the spider bite. It had to be. And I suddenly had agility. Coordination. Oh, no. Equilibrium. And the strength of a man-sized spider. I've got to be dreaming. I've got to test myself. Got to learn the full extent of my newfound power. Perhaps I can cash in on it in some way. If I could give exhibitions, be, become a professional stuntman or some such thing. Then I could finally pay Aunt May and Uncle Ben back for the years they've devoted to me. For raising me after the death of my parents. Is Peter studying again, May? Yes, Ben. The dear boy is so industrious. A science student really scored. I figured a spider, even a human one, needed a web. So I invented one. Then I got really clever. I redesigned the web shooter so I could wear one on each arm. Two presses of this simple doohickey and zowie. I felt like a kid with a new toy. I had everything. But now I need one thing more. A costume. If I'm going to get into showbiz, I might as well look the part. Showmanship? Oh, that producer hadn't seen anything yet. Stay three minutes in the ring with Tricia Hogan. Nobody will know me under this mask. Well, any of you other suckers want to try to win a hundred bucks? I'll try for it, Crusher. <laughs> well, well, if it ain't a puny little mess, Bob. Step up, sucker. Hey! there in a mask. I'm a TV producer. With that actor yours, I can make you a fortune. Here's my card. Call me and uh, keep that mask bit. Great showmanship. Your audition was just great, son. Now, if you can do the same thing in front of the lights and cameras, you'll have it made. I was just a plain old simple superstar. I assure you folks at home that no camera tricks are involved in what you're about to see. So, let's have a big hand for the amazing Spider-Man. I went on a television show. Creep 
in my high school who thought I was just a nerd. Just a taste, and they beg for more. Sign with me! I'll put you in the movies! Wait, I want an interview! See my agents, boys, I'm busy. Stop, thief! Sorry, pal. I'm a wrestler, not a cop. Made it. With you, mister. All you had to do was trip him or hold him for a minute. Hey, sorry, pal. That's your job. Problem, not mine. I'm through being pushed around. From now on, I just look out for number one. And that means me. I saw a police car? What's it doing in front of our house? What could have happened? The police were at Aunt May's. Aunt May, where's Uncle Ben? Uncle. Uncle Ben? What's wrong? No. No, how? It was a burglary. Your uncle woke up, surprised the burglar, and then... Oh, no. The punk who did this has been chased to a warehouse. We'll get him. He's trapped in the old Acme warehouse at the warehouse at the waterfront. We'll get him. You... I've got to go. I've got to get him. Whoever it is, I want him first. And nothing's going to stop Spider-Man. But he won't hold off Spider-Man. <sighs> He's in there somewhere. We'll just wait him out. Gonna escape. What? Not from me. Not ever. Who's that? You'll find out soon enough. What? I must be seeing things. There's no place on earth you can... You can hide from me. This is for the man you killed. No, not you. It can't be. But it was. The very man who'd run past me at the TV studio. When I didn't stop. When I had the chance. If I only had tackled him when I had the chance. I could have. Uncle Ben would still be alive. I learned something important that night. I learned that with great power, there must... There must also always be great responsibility. But I know it now. And so long as I live, Spider-Man will never shirk his duty again. Robbers, killers, beware. Spider-Man is here. <laughs>